thank you for joining me. I'd like to use this brief clip to take a look at the relationships between our thoughts, our feelings and our behaviours. And this is a, a good way, maybe, of chunking down um, times when we can get overwhelmed by our, by our own feelings. Um, there are no cures on, on offer here, but at least it might help us understand what's going on. So let's take a look, shall we? Uh, the first thing to accept is that there's a relationship with all three and the process can be initiated by any one of those um, being vibrated by what's going on. So let's just start with our thoughts shall we and before we go too much further I just want to make it very clear I haven't got any problems at all with anyone called Carla but here we are we've had a meeting or we've had a, a conversation and I thought this needed to go on a bit further but Carla's rushed it. So. What happens then? Um, I, I internalise it, you know. I, I think I, my feelings take over. Really, I've, I've offended Carla. You know, she, she, she's rushed through this. She just doesn't don't want to be there with me. I, uh, you know, I've, I've done this before. Well, what is going wrong? Why can I never get this right? And you know the script that starts to run here, and that has an impact on our behaviours, uh, our closing. I become flustered, and, you know, the physical signs, you know, I just might get that uncomfortable feeling in my throat, in my chest, and do we escape from this at all? No, we go straight back to our thoughts, gosh, it was terrible the way Carla rushed through that, uh, that, that conversation, and again, that feeds our feelings, and we can start to use words like overthinking and beating ourselves up, and I hope that gives you some sort of insight to what can go on there. Okay, so I promise you all I'm doing here is saying let's see if we can separate these things and uh, see if it helps us. Um, my thoughts are Carla has rushed to the meeting. Well, unless we know why Carla has rushed to the meeting, we just might as well leave that to a piece of observation. You know, there could be a million and one reasons Carla might not have allowed herself enough time. She might be rushing on to something else. It might well be that uh, she's got a pretty crowded agenda coming up, it could be that there's a phone call waiting for her, text has come from home, we don't know. So if we move to feelings based on that information, you're internalising something and overthinking something that might not necessarily be true. So until we can check it out and say look, well, is, is that true, is that likely to be true, uh, and ask ourselves how much of my feelings dictating my behaviour here and there, feeding the cycle again, it, it's going to stay very stuck. And if we take a look at our behaviours, if we think about how we feel about an encounter and just stop and say, okay, what am I truly, truly feeling here? What's what's happening in my behaviours? I've realised that, you know, I've just become very, very breathy. I can feel that sort of tension in my throat. Uh, I've just become a bit hot and flushed. Then play it back and say, okay, so what am I thinking here? Uh, what feelings are they generating? Right, I just need to slow this down. And that I think is probably the important phrase, we just need to slow it down so that we're able to actually take stock of what's really going on rather than maybe being ambushed by what can be a pretty vicious triangle. Okay, well I hope you found that helpful and uh, we'll be following this up with another clip um, that takes us into the, the next part of the process of maybe just reframing the way we feel about some of the things that happen to us. If in between now and then you'd like to get in touch, please feel free to do so. It's always good to hear from you. Thanks and take care. Bye.